Hello everyone, let me show you a sample execution of the BMI calculator that I'm going to be building today. So it takes in your height and weight. I'm using inches and pounds, but I will briefly mention how to convert this into the metric system. And then it displays your BMI as well as the range you're in, as in underweight, healthy, overweight. So the first thing that I want to do is include the C standard input-output library. The reason I need this in my program is because I want to read in what the user types on the keyboard, as well as display information back to the user on their screen. And those are both I.O. operations, and I need to enlist the help of some of the functions from the standard I.O. library in order to accomplish that. Then I'm going to create the main function. This function returns an integer which represents the exit status of the program, so a 0 implying success and a 1 implying failure. And all of my code is going to be above this return 0 statement, and if the program reaches the statement, that indicates successful completion, but if it derails because of an error, then automatically the exit status will be non-zero. Now I'm going to create three variables to store the height, weight, and BMI. I have chosen to use a float data type for them. Um, you might be able to determine why I chose that over an integer, and the reason for that is because integers don't hold decimal places, and I want decimal places for the purposes of this program. But you might not be too sure about why I chose this over a double. Well, I technically could have used a double here, but a double data type has a storage size that is twice as large as that of a float, and a float gives you six decimal places of precision, while a double gives you 15 decimal places. So I decided to use a float because there's no reason why I would need to exceed the four bytes of storage space and the six decimal places of precision provided by a float for this program. The next thing I'm going to do is write a simple printf statement that introduces the user to the program. So it's just going to say welcome to the BMI calculator and then the dash n will create a new line after that. Now I'm going to create another printf statement which says please enter your height in inches. Now I'm going to use the scanf function to allow the user to type a response to this prompt and then save that response into the height variable. So just to give a little explanation of how this scanf function works, the scanf stands for scan formatted and this percent %f is a format specifier indicating that I want this input to be treated as a float. So you see a ampersand height and you might be wondering why there is an ampersand and it as opposed to just height. Well, the reason for that is the scanf function requires you to provide a pointer value to the address of the variable, otherwise it won't complete your operation. So what the ampersand does is it points to the memory address of the height value, and what we're going to do with the scanf function is actually modify the value stored at that address. And then I'm going to do a similar thing for capturing the value of the weight. So printf, please enter your weight in pounds. scanf percent %f ampersand weight so now that i have the height and weight i have all the information that i need to be able to compute the bmi except for the formula which i don't have stored in the archives of my brain so i'm going to use this formula for that computation now if you want to do this using kilograms and meters or even centimeters for the height just modify the program for the formula at the top here It'll cover those bases, but for me, I'm just going to copy and paste the highlighted formula and bring that back with me to my program. So the BMI is going to equal 703 times weight divided by height squared. Now, you probably, probably know that multiplying the height by itself is squaring it, but just because an opportunity has arisen for me to include another C library, I'm going to include the math library and then use the power function. So at the top of the program I'm going to type hashtag include math.h and then I'm going to just type pow which takes in a base value and a power value and the base is the height and the power is a 2. So now I'm ready to write a print statement that tells the user what their BMI value is. So I'm going to type your BMI is colon 
percent f and that percent f is again a format specifier for the value that i want to display and that value is the bmi the next thing i want to do is write a series of conditional statements that will tell the user what range their bmi falls in i'm going to use this range as the standard for that so if your if your bmi is under 18.5 you're underweight so if bmi less than 18.5 print you are underweight and then else if your bmi is greater than or equal to 18.5 and less than 24.9 you are a healthy weight Actually, it's inclusive of 24.9. So if you actually think about this else if statement that I just wrote, you'll realize that the first if statement covers everyone that is less than 18.5, meaning that all the other conditionals are going to include people that are greater than 18.5 because the first condition has failed. So technically, the only thing I really need in this conditional is the cap off value, which is going to be the 24.9. So I can delete that first part because it is already, it, it is a redundancy. And then for my third conditional statement, I'm going to capture everyone that is in the overweight group, meaning their BMI is greater than 24 0.9, but less than or equal to 29.9. And like I said before, um, everyone who meets this conditional is already greater than 24.9, meaning that I only have to include the cap off value. And then everyone who failed to meet any of the three ranges above is obese, so that'll be my last else statement. So now I'm ready to execute this program. And the first thing I'm going to do is navigate into my downloads directory because that's where I saved this file. So CD downloads will get me there. And then I'm going to type gcc bmi.c dash o bmi. And gcc is the GNU compiler collection, which is how you compile a C program. If you would like to check if you do have this on your system, uh, type gcc v, and that should bring up the version information of that. If it indicates that you don't have it, then you will have to install it prior to being able to execute a C program. So that explains what's going on with the gcc and the bmi.c, but you might be wondering what that dash o and the other bmi stands for. Well, the dash o is, is a specifier for the name of the executable file. So I'm naming my executable BMI so that when I call this program, I can just type BMI, which is what I do in the next line. So the dash O is optional. I could still, you know, compile and run this program without that. However, to execute it, I will have to invoke the default name of the executable, which is a.out. And I'll show you later what that looks like without the dash O flag, just for fun. So anyway, this is an execution of the program. We put in a height, we put in a weight. Earlier, I did mention that the float variable provides six decimal places of precision, and that is what you're seeing here. But for, for my purposes, I really only need about three or two decimals to be satisfied with this program. So to modify that, I am going to go back to my program and where I format the outputs of the BMI, I'm just going to append a dot two in front of the float specifier, meaning that I only want two decimal places. So now if I recompile that, I can see that those changes were made. And then this is what compiling it would look like without the dash O flag for specifying the name of an executable. So you compile it, but then you have to type dot slash a dot out because that is the default name of the executable. And then you can run the program as before. I'm just going to add a tab value after the BMI because I think that'll just make the output look a little better. And so the final execution 
looks like this. There's just a space between, I just added um, a larger space between the BMI and the range. So yeah, that is the whole program. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video.